Has anyone ever told you you should write a book? Often in life when something amazing, difficult, or life-changing happens, God can use the story to impact the lives of others. That's part of the inspiration behind Jerome McQueen's book, Real Christian, Real Talk. Dancy introduces us to this local author. When we talk to some of our guests, five minutes just never seems enough. And uh, Jerome McQueen is one of those guests. He has written a book called Real Christian, Real Talk. And um, Jerome, you have quite a story to tell. Um, this book is about your life, um, but you said it has been quite a process to get it out onto the market because um, for 10 years you have been writing it. And um, in five minutes, can we talk about it? Yes, um, the, the process that God um, has in our lives, um, it really depends on our submission. For sure, right? To do what he's asked us to do. And sometimes, and in most cases, it's at our expense. Mm -hmm. But it's to the glory of God. Absolutely. And... Um, the process took so long because it was so difficult to reveal um, things that I had experienced in my life. Uh, and as a result of the things that I had experienced in my life, um, namely child molestation, I was molested as a child. Okay. So that hurt and that loss of innocence, um, it dictated a lot of the things that I did as an adult. Through the anger and through the yes. remorse even of... The shame, yes. the guilt. Yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And a lot of Christians, sometimes, I guess a lot of times you have this idea that once we accept Christ in our lives, then everything is just completely erased. Oh, I know. Um, Accepting Christ in our life gives us the ability to put the past in perspective. Yes. It doesn't erase the past. Right. It just gives us the power to put it in perspective. Right. And provides the compass to go forward then. Amen. Right. Amen. Because um, I did read a little bit about your life and you have been back and forth in your faith. Oh, yes. Um, many times. Yes. Um, so what got you here? What was the, what was the factor that, that um, solidified you and confirmed your belief in Christ and, and his power in your life? Yeah, I um, lost, lost. I was in uh, a relationship with a, a young lady and she was from Russia. Hmm. Um, we developed a love affair and at this time in my life I wasn't a Christian. Okay. I wasn't practicing Christianity at all, even though God's hand was still on my life. Um, to make a long story short, she went back to Russia mm -hmm. and we had plans for her to come back mm -hmm. and we were going to create this wonderful life with each other. Um, however, God had a different plan for me. Um, I wanted her back so bad that it broke me and in that loss and that desire to have that back i went to the only person that could make that happen in my mind and that was god mm -hmm. but in his presence he began to put my life in perspective and it taught me to seek first the kingdom of heaven oh, and yes. its righteousness yes and everything else will be added unto you not what we desire, but what he desires and, for our life. Oh, don't you think that that is the answer and that if so many of us, especially our teenagers today, could learn that, they would, yes. I mean, like you said, life is not a uh, bowl of cherries and, you know, yes. it doesn't go the way we always intend it to go. Yes. But um, if we would just realize that, how to, how to make our priorities and God should be first, always. Always. You know, so um, your book, we can find it on Amazon. Yes. Okay. Yes. And it, what do you hope that readers take from it? What I want readers to take from this is that no matter where we are in our walk with Christ, Jesus loves you just the way you are. And our Christian faith is a process. It's a process that has mm -hmm. to be walked out. 
Uh, and the more we submit to the process, then God creates us in his image more and more and more. And you don't ever have to be ashamed of anything that has happened to you or anything that you have done that could have been harmful to others. Because a lot of people carry that guilt, and, and I carried that guilt. Mm -hmm. um, and my story, oh, it's just, just not enough time. Um, Praise God, though, it's that you got to this <laughs> place, though, I have to say, because we all do. We are, none of us are perfect. Yes. By far. And, um, and it's just great that we realize that we can't ever do enough to be worthy, but we are worthy. We are worthy. You know? Yes, we are. It's just amazing. Yes. So, yes. Jerome, thank you so very much thank for being so with us. Thank you so much for having me. It's great yes. to meet you. Yes, likewise. All right. Hopefully thank you. Hopefully we'll be back again. Absolutely. All right. Back to you, Jen.